Good morning everyone. This is Dr. Mama Ghazal and today in this video we will talk about a very promising and potential member of a nanomaterial family which is carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotube it's just like a general term which refers to a wide range of tubular nanostructures with similar structures and shapes. Ideally they are based on a hexagonal lattice of sp2 carbon atoms such as graphene and uh, in uh, nanotubes, the edge of the graphene sheets are fused to form a cylindrical tube with a high aspect ratio. These carbon nanotubes are also known as Bucky tubes, and these are the member of a fullerene family. Carbon nanotube, uh, we can say a foremost and inimitable invention in the part of nanotechnology is said to be carbon nanotubes. And these tubes make useful in various materials like polymers, ceramics, and metallic surfaces. As for time is considering till now, we have so many types of tubes such as silicon carbon tube, silicon tubes, carbon nanotubes, and many more. And why carbon nanotubes are important? Because carbon is a component that is found all over the places and in all the things. So, we can say that carbon nanotubes exhibit several remarkable properties and are known for their exceptional strength, electrical conductivity, and thermal conductivity, and have most uh, num numerous potential applications in the field of material science, nanotechnology, electronics, and many more. Despite their remarkable strength and electrical properties, carbon nanotubes are extremely light in weight and thin. They are chemically stable and which can resist corrosion under many environmental conditions as well. So how the graphene sheet is rolled up in a single layer, double layer and a multi-layer form, we can uh, talk in the next slide. So carbon nanotubes are like super tiny, super strong, super useful building blocks that scientists and engineers are using to create all sorts of amazing stuffs from stronger materials to better electronics and even life-saving medical treatments also. So before proceeding further, some of the common methods by which we can synthesize carbon nanotubes are chemical vapor deposition, arc discharge, laser ablation, chemical or liquid phase methods, plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition method and electrochemical deposition. So it's very important to note that the choice of synthesis methods can significantly impact the type, quality and yield of the carbon nanotubes which are produced. So that's the reason like researchers select the most appropriate method based on their specific applications, requirements and the desired characteristics of the nanotube. Now, the structural properties. Carbon nanotubes comes in three st main structural forms. One is said to be the single walled carbon nanotubes. This is the picture of the single, how the graphene sheet is rolled up in a single, single graphene sheet is rolled up in a uh, cylindrical tube in the form of a single layer. And it consists of a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a cylindrical structure. And this single layer uh, or single walled carbon nanotubes are said to be the simplest form of carbon nanotubes and can have different structures including metallic and semiconducting depending on their chirality which means the specific way the graphene sheet is rolled. Another is double walled carbon nanotubes. This is again the simplest multi walled carbon nanotubes because it's comprising of two layers and two uh, various gra graphene sheets which are rolled up in this form. So double wall carbon nanotubes are said to be the seamless and hollow coaxial tubular structures formed by curling two layers of graphite in accordance with a certain spiral angle. Third one is said to be the multi wall carbon nanotubes and these are composed of multi-concentric layers of graphene cylinders nested with one another. And these layers can range from a few to dozen of concentric shells and can exhibit unique properties due to their multiple layers. So, so where carbon nanotubes are being used? So these days carbon nanotubes are having numerous applications in several fields. So some of them are sports equipments. Some high-end tennis rackets and golf clubs use carbon nanotubes to make them both lightweight and incredibly strong. 
which allows athletes to perform better. In electronics, carbon nanotubes are used in electronic devices like smartphones, computer chips to make them faster and more energy efficient because of the energy storage, battery energy storage, which means your gadgets can run longer on a single battery charge. Drug delivery, which is the main, like scientists are exploring the use of carbon nanotubes to deliver medicines directly to cancer cells, making cancer treatments more effective and reducing side effects. So some of the other applications of carbon nanotubes in biomedical field are like for a cancer treatment, antioxidant activities, tissue engineering, biosensing, imaging, and others are like where carbon nanotubes uh, can be used more. So it can uh, be worked as a, for the preparation of a lithium ion battery charge, sensors, super capacitors, means like uh, working as a catalyst or a catalyst support, fuel cells, many more applications can be found for a carbon nanotubes. Medical imaging, where researchers are developing contrast agents made of carbon nanotubes to enhance the quality of medical imaging techniques like MRI or CT scans. And this can help doctors to diagnose disease more accurately. But despite of all these varied applications, there are some challenges, which means like uh, mean they are in, produ in producing and utilizing carbon nanotubes on a large scale. And the issues which are coming on doing such, like uh, such as purity, chirality control, dispersion in solvents, and need to be addressed for practical applications. So these are some of the basic information which is related to carbon nanotubes. And in my next video, we will talk about full range. So if you like my this video, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.